Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Time here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new life skill crystals that came with the Land of Morning Light, showing you how to get them, how to make them, how to use them, all those important things you wanna know about these awesome, amazing crystals that you can get. They give you up to 160 additional mastery for your life skill of choice, or 80% bonus EXP while you're leveling it. So either way, awesome crystals. You wanna get a set for like your cooking, hunting, gathering, those different activities that love those mastery bonuses, definitely gonna to wanna to pick them up. Anyway, uh, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel in the Black Desert or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. It helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content and we both win and without further ado, let's get into it and start off with what these things are. So there are two new types of life skill crystal that have been added into the game. The first is the Vital Crystal. These provide you 10 additional mastery to the life skill of your choice and you can slot up to 16 of them into your crystal slot setup for a total of 160 mastery. The second are the Life Crystals for the various life skills and each of these provides you with a bonus of 5% experience to those life skills. Now, crafting these crystals is pretty straightforward. You only need four items. They're going to be magical lightstone crystals, magical shards, traces of forest, and a forest crystal. Now, three of those items are pretty easy to get. The fourth one, though, this forest crystal right here, is pretty difficult. There's a couple of different ways to get it, but all of them are very slow and rely on pretty rare drops. But starting off with the ways to get the forest crystal first. The first one is going to be to set up the node over here at Dokabi Forest, excavation right up here you can only assign a dokabi worker to this and in my video on the best nodes for land of morning light i talk about this one and show you like how to set it up and get it going now this node has a very 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 low chance to drop the forest crystal from it you can see it at the very bottom as well as embers of hongik which you're going to need as well so you might as well have a worker set up for this node my worker has been working on this node as since this patch dropped and i've gotten one of these forest crystals from it it's going to take a while it's a pretty low drop rate now the second way to pick this crystal up is going to be through fishing in the new region. So whenever you're out and about fishing in any of the different locations and waterways in this region, you have a small, small, small chance of picking up a forest crystal. You can do this AFK or actively. So I guess I'll just try my hand at uh, active fishing here. Let's see if I know how to do this. Uh, ah, still remember. Um, but yeah, slow percentage chance there, low percent chance there to pick those up from AFK fishing. Again, I've been AFK fishing pretty much every night in this region, and I have not pulled a single one of these crystals. So very, very low drop rate on this thing. You're going to be working for a while on it. And finally, the last realistic way to pick up this crystal is going to be through hunting in the new hunting region in the Land of Morning Light. So right here on the map, there's a new hunting zone. You have to use a specific sniper rifle for this. And uh, yeah, if you haven't played this minigame before, it's kind of fun. you got to time the shot so that you uh, hit it, and then you got to reload in the little animation window as well. So it gets... Uh, Tricky pretty quick. Yeah, got it. Oh, easy win. And then just like normal hunting, you just go up to whatever you killed and butcher it, and uh, yeah, you'll collect items, and you have a small chance to pick up the, uh, the rare item there. Again, very low drop rate, not going to be pulling a ton of those from hunting. However, I think that's probably where most people are going to be picking them up from is this hunting activity, since it is a repeatable thing. Either way, I still have not gotten any crystals from this either in any of my attempts, so really, really low drop rates along the board. But eventually, when you finally do have one of those crystals, like I do right now sitting in Dabal Village, the next item that you'll need will be Traces of Forest, specifically 50 of these. Now these can be picked up from a couple of nodes in the Black Desert world. You can see that I have one running here in Calpheon, located right here at Bernanito Farm. This node right here, this excavation node, has a chance to drop those Traces of Forest. There's also one in Camasilvia, that one being the Tooth Fairy Forest node right here that has a chance for the Trace of Forest. If you don't want to set up nodes, you can also put pre-orders for them in on the central marketplace to try and pick some up that way. But yeah, you're going to need a total of 50 of those in order to uh, make this crystal. The next item that we're going to need are going to be magical shards, which is this item right here. You can see I've got 50 of these already saved up. You're going to need 50 of them in order to craft this item. What you're going to need to do is buy some black magic crystals off of the central marketplace. You can see them all listed right here, right around the 5 million silver mark. There's also the sealed black magic crystal that you can purchase as well. Um, and this is actually the easiest way to do it. A, because they had a ton of them in stock, but B, because in order to process them, you need to go to the heating tab, select that crystal and click process, and it will process all of them in a row rather than needing to process each crystal individually. It'll just run it down the line with the sealed magic crystals. But processing those crystals will eventually produce magical shards. It'll produce between one and two, usually one, but every once in a while you'll hit a two. Now the final item that you're going to need are going to be magical lightstone crystals, and these can be obtained from the NPC Dalishan. So to find Dalishan, just, you know, use the find NPC function, and hopefully you'll find one. If you can spell, of course, Dalishan, and uh, you'll see that they're located in pretty much every region there's one of these NPCs. You're also going to need some lightstone crystals in your inventory. So right here I have these lightstone of winds, lightstones of earths, um, just some junk ones that I've gotten through playing through the game. 
You can buy these off of the Cypher Marketplace as well. Just type in Lightstone. And uh, it doesn't really matter which ones you buy. You can buy the cheapest ones you want right here. Make your life a little bit easier. But when you interact with the NPC Dalashan, you'll see the exchange tab right here where you'll be able to exchange those Lightstone crystals that you have. You can also exchange imperfect ones if you've gotten any of those as well. Um, so it's up to you however you want to do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and exchange these for the 100 of them. Everyone you exchange is worth 10, so all I need to do is exchange 10 total to equal 100 of those crystals. So in my inventory, I now have the Forest Crystal, the 100 Magical Lightstones, the 50 Traces of Forest, and the 50 Magical Shards. We now need to head over to Nampo's Middle Village, to this NPC right here. And when you arrive at the NPC Hyunyoung, you will be able to interact with them. So above your head, you should see a little quest right there. If you don't see that quest with a little crystal in it, make sure that you have all quests enabled down here by pressing the O key on the keyboard and selecting the All button. Um, once you approach that NPC, you'll be able to take the quest and hit the Repeat Crystal here. So again, you see all the different life skills you can exchange them for. The Vital Crystal is for Mastery and the life crystal is for EXP, so don't accidentally screw this up. I'm gonna say it again, the life crystals provide you EXP, the vital crystals provide you mastery. Me personally, I'm trying to push my cooking mastery as high as I can get it, so I'm gonna take the vital crystal of cooking. Before you accept the quest, you should be able to also see the reward here, hover it and make sure that it is the one that you want. Cooking mastery plus 10 in my case, whatever you want, make sure that that's the crystal you're gonna get. If it's not what you're gonna get, press the escape key, and that'll cancel accepting the quest, so you don't take it accidentally. Again, quest, I wanna take the Vital Crystal of Cooking. Hover to make sure it's Vital Crystal of Cooking, Cooking Mastery plus 10, accept. Go to the chat tab once you've done that, and exchange each of the four items that you have in your inventory. This quest will not appear unless you have these items already in your inventory. Step one, exchange the first piece, chat. Step two, exchange the second piece, chat. Third piece, chat. Fourth piece, confirm, complete, and you will get the crystal. And then that's pretty much it. You now have the crystal in your inventory and start using it. Um, for those of you that don't know how to use the crystal system, if you haven't been uh, experienced in it yet, comma key on the keyboard brings up the Black Spirit. You will see the Transfusion tab here, where you can then open the View Crystals tab and slot this crystal that you just got into your bag to be able to equip it on your character. Just go ahead and click on it. Yes, and it will add it to your bag. You can then go to your Black Spirit's crystal menu, which is under the Transfusion tab and create a new one here. So for me, I'm gonna create one for my cooking preset, and we will add that crystal that we just put into it and apply. Again, this is also where you apply your different crystal sets, so I wanna make sure my Musa one is applied for combat, but whenever I do cooking, I'll now swap over to the cooking set. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the new crystal, how to get it, system, how to use it, um, pick which ones, all those things you wanted to know with this. So now it's your turn to let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think of the video? What life skill crystals are you gonna be pushing for? Are you happy with this system? All those things, let me know down below. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure to check me over on Twitch every single weekend. Also, catch some more YouTube videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.